toxic masculinity to me means the stereotypical aspects connected to men or men's actions that might affect themselves or other people around them. I wouldn't say I have a strict definition of what it means, but to me it's the kind of negative stereotypes and sort of traits that go along with being masculine. And how some people think that, for example, the idea of being a man, you have to follow these traits or follow these certain behaviours to fit in, when in reality it's just bringing out the worst in people. I wouldn't say I'm close with my family, but I've not had a bad relationship, I had a good home life. So I've always had that. But, for example, I never really talk with my dad about things emotionally, so I find it easier opening up to women or to people, because that's just how, how my life's sort of been. And I think, first and foremost, your relationship with your father affects your view on masculinity the most. Toxic masculinity has affected me in the relationship that I have with my father. Growing up around men was kind of tough to kind of portray myself like them and like meet the expectations that they had on me. But kind of growing up, I had a lot of freedom, so I could choose what to wear, I could choose how to portray myself. So my father was very good to me compared to other, uh, other males that had in my family. So I kind of tried to change his mind around some stereotypes, like men can't really demonstrate feelings. My mom is much more open to talk about those things. And with my father, it's like, I feel like he doesn't really know how to interact with me if with having like an emotional, uh, an emotional conversation. A lot, a lot of people, will, yeah, including myself, might not be able to, yeah, express their emotions probably because they haven't had that father figure to be able to, um, like, have that connection with. You know what I mean? I'd probably say it's my mum because it's, it's not like I had my uh, my dad in, in my life really, so it's kind of just. Well, I still don't like the way she does it now, but like, yeah, she enforced me. Oh, I have to do this because I'm the man in the house, stuff like that. I'm not trying to feel like I have to be able to do something just because I'm a guy. I'd say media helps me to get some inspiration and influences other of other males that are not toxic. I feel like. With the internet, I could, I was able to find people that are like me, that portray themselves in a more feminine way. I don't know, it's just about kind of changing the stereotypes and making the way you look not relate to your gender, but just with the way you are. Music and masculinity go hand in hand with me because obviously a lot of my music isn't like very like aggressive. I quite, I quite like having it sort of like in a, like a slow tone, but also kind of like a love song in like a way. So kind of like romantic. You know, obviously not that many guys would do that in like the music scene, and especially in Bristol right now, it's mostly just like UK hip hop and stuff like that, or like kind of like Bristol wave, which is happening right now. And obviously I'm kind of just like, oh, expressing how I feel in like a way, you know what I mean? If you've got your mindset on this is how a guy acts and this is how you're supposed to act in a relationship, I can tell you that's not true because relationships are such a personal, intimate thing. It's really about how your dynamic works together rather than an individual perception of what it's supposed to be like. So like I paint my nails and people are like, oh, like once some guy asked me if I was gay because I painted my nails. I don't really know how that correlates, but but there's always that guys dress a certain way, guys only act a certain way, guys are supposed to, and to be honest, I think that none of that should matter. And the more you put emphasis on that's how it should be, the more people you're gonna isolate. I wasn't really able to be open about my feelings before coming out. I couldn't speak about it without touching the subject. So maybe I just learned how to keep things to myself and that's an habit. I should get rid of, definitely. So I talk about toxic masculinity, not often, but every now and then with some of my friends. I think it's most important to talk with people who it affects the most because they might not necessarily have that outlet and someone to talk to. 
And a lot of the time, these traits end up becoming really unhealthy habits and end up being part of the root of a problem within someone's life. And if you're not, if you actually care about someone, if they are your friend, then you're going to bring these things up and you're going to try and make them better, you're going to try and help them out.